Hey, good day. This is Lou Pinberg here. Appreciate you tuning in, checking out what we're going to talk about today. Today, I want to talk about the four ways, four ways to create wealth. Guys, it really is that easy. No, it's not. It takes work, guys. It takes work. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you, oh, my gosh, you can create wealth in, in uh, some easy little steps. Nothing's easy. Everything takes work, takes commitment. Okay, But there are generally four steps you can follow to create wealth for yourself. OK, now I have apply these principles and I've been able to generate some wealth for myself. You know, I mean, this guy, you know, from Nogales to, to Tucson to being a soldier, being a law enforcement officer, uh, an entrepreneur and television movie actor. If I can create some wealth for myself, I don't see why you can't. Do you agree? I think you can, too. So this is really what it boils down to. Are you ready? Number one, numero uno, number one, if you want to learn how to create wealth for yourself, You've got to choose to learn sales, period. You got to learn sales. You have to. You're like, well, I don't want to learn sales. I hate sales. I don't like salespeople. But, oh, my goodness, do you like to buy stuff, don't you? Yeah. Uh, we don't like sales, but we love to buy. So think about it. Someone's selling that to you. The building you're in, the house you're in, the chair you're sitting, somebody sold that. The food you're eating, somebody sold that, right? So you have to choose to learn sales. Now, I'll, I'm part of this community, by the way. The 46% who said, I didn't ever plan on being in sales, but I'm actually glad I am. I'm in that group, okay? But why sales? Or why should you consider uh, sales as the, as the step number one in creating wealth for yourself? Well, here's the reason why. When you look at some of the top professions in the United States, like, for example, a professor who on average might make $90,000 a year, uh, an engineer might make about another seventy to 80000 a year, a uh, police officer, law enforcement officer between sixty dollars to $70,000 a year, uh, and, and then you look at a nurse or something like that, maybe you know, fifty, sixty, seventy, sixty-five thousand dollars $65,000 a year. Very important professions. But when you look at the average sales manager, you're going to find that they're making a six-figure income because they're in sales. So step number one and learn how to create wealth for yourself is choose to learn, learn sales, right? So that's, that's, what I, well, that's what I learned. But number two, if you want to learn, if you want to create wealth for yourself, you've got to not only learn sales, but you've got to become an entrepreneur, right? You have to choose to become an entrepreneur. Look at entrepreneurship this way. Think of the wealthiest person you've ever met. Is that person an employee or are they an entrepreneur? Right? I know the answer. They're an entrepreneur. Because when you are an entrepreneur, statistically speaking, you stand a greater chance of creating wealth for yourself or becoming self-made, as they say, than you do as an employee or even a college graduate. Okay? So, and when you compare college graduates, most of them, about 83% of them, end up working in some other field that, that they study something other than what they study, okay? As an entrepreneur, whether you have a PhD or a PhD, public high school diploma, you can make it in the world of entrepreneurship, okay? So there you go, choose entrepreneurship. Again, entrepreneurs, we're the ones who help set up the, the backbone of this country, the framework of this country. We, we help build buildings, you know, we, we, we set up restaurants, we set up commerce and all sorts of things, open up stores, that's the entrepreneur. And you know, a few of them have even become presidents, just so you know. Now, um, step number three, if you want to create wealth for yourself, you got to choose the right industry. There's a lot of industries out there you can be in and do very well in. A lot of them. Okay, I happen to have chosen the insurance and financial services industry. Okay, why is that? In my case, I felt that if I could meet the demands of every generation, I can probably create wealth for myself, right? Here's what I mean by that. If I'm in a service or a business where primarily the adults are going to become the client, the paying customer, the actual holder of the product, um, I'm not going to be in a, I'm not going to be tapping into every market, every generation. I chose insurance and financial services because the baby can become my client because I can help set up a college fund. Don't know if you knew that or not. I can set up uh, uh, the same thing for his, his older brother. I can help protect mom and dad through life insurance. I can even help set up uh, retirement income as well through life insurance. And I can protect grandma's 401k. Big time to do that. We'll talk about that in another video. But when I chose this industry, I chose 
I looked at step number three very carefully and realized that if I choose this industry, I can help every generation out there, especially today, the boomer generation needs their help big time when it comes to financial services. So that's why I chose this industry that I'm in today. Okay. Now, step number four, though, if you want to create wealth for yourself, you've got to choose a system or find a system that's going to mentor and coach you along the way. Therein lies the problem sometimes, you see. Therein lies the problem is you may have this great idea to, to, to sell some sort of product or service or some kind of cool widget, but who's going to mentor and coach you along the way? Who do you call when you have a challenge? It's why people buy franchises, by the way. But the problem with that is they're very expensive, super expensive, right? And they keep a lot of your money most of the time. And it takes you a long time to make, your, to make a, a profit on that, right? So again, I chose a system that allows me one, it's simple. It's duplicatable. A system where I can I can reach out and I can have legal available to me. I can have I can have compliance available to me. I can have training available to me. Uh, I have a system where I'm mentored by people like uh, Patrick Bed David. You've heard me talk about him a lot. He's been key in my mentorship in business. Matter of fact, I was just recently at his house in Florida. Heck of a good time. Where, by the way, I got to meet another mentor of mine. Right, it was early on in my years as an entrepreneur was Robert Kiyosaki. Another mentor of mine, a game changer for me, just so you know. But again, there's four steps to create wealth for yourself. It really is that easy. <laughs> Nothing's easy, just so you know. But number one is you have to choose to learn sales, right? Number two, you've got to um, you've got to become an entrepreneur, right? And number three, you've got to choose an industry that is ideally in demand with every generation, right? Where it's just more than mom or dad who become your client. One where everyone becomes your client. And it happens to pay well as well. Okay, that's very important. And number four, number four, if you want to create wealth for yourself, you have to have a system that's going to teach you how to run your business, right? A, a coach, a mentor, a, a system to help you scale your business, to, to manage your clientele, to everything you need to manage your numbers, everything you need to be a successful business owner. But if you want to create wealth for yourself, here's another one. And you can add this to number five if you want to, but the other one is this, focus on helping other people achieve success and you will, you're going to get yours. You see, in my business, my goal is to help people like the uh, uh, Oscar and Alicia Lopez family achieve success, like the Jose and Nancy Sanchez family achieve success, um, like other families that I've helped achieve success in business, like, like uh, 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 Victor Zaldo, who, who runs an agency uh, out of Phoenix, uh, other people, Andrea and Tony McGowan. You know, people like that, that I've had, I've played a small part in helping them achieve success by providing them mentorship and leadership along the way. And they, and they did the hard work. You know, I just simply helped and coached them along the way. If you're looking for that, hey, hit me up. Shoot me an email, lukepember at gmail.com. If you're curious to know kind of what I do or put a comment in the comment section right there and give it a like if you want to and share with someone. But check this out as I wrap up. Question is, why should you create wealth for yourself, right? The short answer is, why not, right? You're going to get people who say, well, it's not all about the money, mister. Okay, what do you pay rent with? What do you pay your mortgage with? How do you vacation? On looks and love alone, it doesn't happen that way, right? It does take money to, achieve, to pay for those things. Now, it takes money to put your kids through college, to pay for a home, to eat well, to drive a, a, a decent car that works, right? It takes money to do those things. So it is about the money. But it's, here's, here's what's key about that. It's how you earn the money. That makes a difference. See, in America, let me talk about America for a moment. In America, America is the, the ideal place where you can create wealth for yourself. And there's so many people out there who are not taking advantage of that. I don't know if you know that or not. In America, you have liberty. You have the freedom of being able to pick up the phone, talk to someone, and potentially they can become your client or, or at least network with that person. OK, in America, you have the freedom to be able to assemble and get together and hold uh, hold meetings or, or hold gatherings, sit down face to face with a client. You have that freedom in America, in America. And on top of that, we have freedom of religion, uh, uh, freedom of speech. We have all those things in America. OK, and that's what makes us so special. You see, America is the proving grounds of how, on how you can exactly. You can create wealth for yourself in a, in a short amount of time. America's only been around less than 300 years, I believe. Wealthiest country in the world, richest country, fastest growing country because of entrepreneurship. 
because of patriots like you, like me, who push hard every single day and we're pursuing the American dream. If you wanna pursue the American dream, <laughs> follow these four steps, learn them, learn them. If you have any questions, hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on, on YouTube, uh, shoot me an email, loopember at gmail.com and uh, uh, embrace what America stands for today, right? We are the, the role models for the world when it comes to freedom, when it comes to patriotism, when it comes to uh, uh, entrepreneurship. Let's hold on to that. Let's make sure we don't lose that, okay? As an entrepreneur, it is our duty to be successful so that our next generation of children can also live a, a, a successful life. Guys, with that, my name is Lou Pimber, Mexicano, nació en Nueva Sonora, eh, he tenido el privilegio de ser soldado, policía, uh, emprendedor, y ahora estoy con ustedes aquí. Look, have a great day, guys. I'll talk to you guys very soon. Again, this is Luke Pember. I'll talk to you all soon. I hope you all have a chance to create wealth for yourself in those four easy steps. All right, guys, have a good day. Take care.